Hi, I'm Roberta Jordner, and I work for the City of Portland Bureau of Planning and Sustainability. Many of Portland's beautiful hilly areas, like those in southwest here, and in northwest and near Powell Butte on the east side, have very steep slopes and ravines, and here rainwater doesn't soak into the soil easily. These areas typically don't have pipe stormwater systems, so runoff goes directly into local streams. Landslide, wildfire, and earthquake-related risks are higher in these areas than in many other parts of the city. Heavy rainstorms can create unsafe conditions and damage homes and businesses, roads and streams. Steep, narrow, windy roads make it tricky for emergency vehicles to get into these types of areas and for residents to evacuate in case of wildfire or other disasters. And in some areas, water supply pipes are too small to meet fire flow requirements. As the city updates its comprehensive plan, community stakeholders have asked planners to look at how much future growth could occur in these areas. They're concerned about the potential costs and impacts of this growth, and also whether there are increased risks on public health and safety. It turns out that Portland's current zoning would allow existing development to more than double in the areas we're looking at. This means more demand on already limited infrastructure systems, and while the city is investing in stormwater management and other improvements, projects in these types of areas can get very expensive. In addition, removing trees from steep slopes to make way for more development would increase the risks of landslides and erosion and would negatively impact water quality and wildlife habitat. Stormwater runoff from buildings and pavement can impact neighboring properties and contribute to downstream flooding. In response to these concerns, the proposed comprehensive plan includes land use changes to reduce the amount of future development that can occur in these areas. The proposal would still allow new development, but property owners wouldn't be able to create as many new lots as they can today. At the same time, the comp plan proposal would guide future growth to centers and corridors with nearby urban services and fewer natural hazards. While reducing future development won't solve existing problems in these areas, it can help protect public health and safety in the future by keeping them from getting much worse over time. So check out the MAP app to see where the city is proposing land use changes in areas with drainage problems and natural hazards.